with that money is this going to make them to come out from the hell? Do I have the means to pull them out from that hell of drugs or drink or other kinds of wrong actions that they are doing? If you are sincere, you will come up with an answer. And I don't think you are that capable of pulling them out. When you understand that this is the limit of what you can do, wisdom enters. Because wisdom is knowing what the boundaries are. Wisdom comes to a man when he understands that this is the limit of what he can do beyond that he cannot. The foolish one sees that there is no boundary, that there is no limit. And he then, instead of helping, they will pull him to a hell that he was trying to pull them out from. What are you capable of doing? You're capable of praying for them. You pray for them. What else are you capable of doing? You're capable of keeping yourself clean. Keep yourself clean. But if you're finding it that it is difficult to keep yourself clean in an area where those that are around you, they are pulling you into that kind of dirtiness, don't try to be a martyr. Don't try to be such a good one to help, first you have to help yourself, pull yourself out from that. When the airplane is falling, is sinking, and the pressure is changing, and there's alarm going, and the oxygen mass fall, first law of um, first aid in that kind of situation, emergency action, to take the mask and to put it on yourself. Not even to help those around you. First, you have to be able to help them. And to be able to do that, you have to, put, you have to help yourself. Then, whatever that is necessary, it will come to you in how to help them. In these days, the advice that is given to the Ummat, not just friends and relatives, or Muslims, or you and me to the entire Ummat, Holy Prophet wasalam, saying, pull yourselves out from that mess. This world is spinning out of control the way that Dajjal is spinning. You are not going to make much of a difference. Wait for the Sahibu Zaman to come. Pull yourself out. Keep yourself clean. Go to the mountains. Be with those ones who are keeping their lives simple and clean. Call out to those who want this simplicity and this cleanliness. They will come. But for the rest, there is nothing that you can do. Because now there is a big tsunami that is coming. And the advice of the Prophet is not to stand up to that tsunami. It is to pull back and wait for the Sahibu Zaman to come. He will stand up and we will stand up with him. Wisdom is to know when is the time and what is the time to be doing what we're supposed to be doing. If you stand up now, you may destroy yourself and maybe others. If you stand up later behind those ones who are uh, like a mountain, you are not a mountain, but because you are behind the mountain, you have the strength of a mountain too. That time you may help so many that are around you. May Allah make it easy for them and make it easy for us. May Allah wake them up and wake us up, inshallah, and not to test us with a test that is given to so many others right now. Fatiha. <laughs>